My name is Caleb Blanchard. I'm 27 years old from Lafayette, Louisiana. I began my bodybuilding career at 18. I entered my first show at the state level, played second in teens, and um, came back at 21 three years later and won the overall at that LA State show, which uh, ignited my career. From there, I was able to branch out and meet some really great people, individuals who scouted me and brought me out to show me what bodybuilding was really all about. And um, from there, I learned how to diet, show prep, and all of the posing and necessities of living the lifestyle of an actual bodybuilder. Um, being from Louisiana, there wasn't a whole lot of um, experienced bodybuilders that could excel me to the level that I'm at today. So almost 10 years later, after a couple of regional titles, uh, Greater Gulf States, Dallas Europa, just to name a couple, I uh, finally reached the national level. I placed fifth as a heavyweight in 2012, second as a light heavy in 2013, and finally this year, I obtained my pro status in light heavyweight with a first place victory. In my youth, I played roller hockey, which in South Louisiana, which is a very humid and hot place, was a kind of outsider sport, but it's very physical and very um, aggressive, which I enjoyed. Um, but what actually got me into bodybuilding was being a smaller individual and not quite as uh, built and strong as the other competitors that were competing not only in hockey, but in other sports as well. I tried various things such as football and just didn't have the strength. I had the agility and the speed, but not the size and the strength to match to the competition. So my mother actually got me a gym membership at age 14. And uh, I had a few friends and trainers and things that were working out you know, pretty hard. And they guided me throughout the beginning years of my bodybuilding career. Well, it started off as a seafood cook in a small restaurant, balling crawfish and shrimp and crabs. Uh, throughout high school, I worked that job until I was 18, and then I scouted out the oil field, which the money's great, but 
when you are trying to build a career in the oil field, they expect you to dedicate yourself to that career, just as bodybuilding expects you to dedicate yourself to this career. So along the way, having spent about four or five years in the oil field industry and trying to juggle the both bodybuilding and oil field life, working 24-hour call and various things, I had to draw a line in the sand and decide whether or not I was going to pursue bodybuilding or a career in the oil field. And the oil field fell through. Things got pretty desperate. So I put the oil field down and decided that I was going to work on bodybuilding. And I rode a bicycle for a couple years. Was homeless once or twice. But uh, through the grace of God, I found many blessings and had many great friends and family carry me through. And uh, eventually I found out what it was going to take and went through the necessary avenues to build myself up and reach a exceptional level of bodybuilding. For a few years, I began lifting with uh, some friends and such that aren't very experienced bodybuilders, but they were good lifters and dedicated, you know, gym rats. So it was a good, good aspect in life to have them training with me. A great friend of mine, Rocky Bordelan, who just got his NGA Pro card, was a trainer that helped me quite a bit throughout the past. Um, this year, recently, I took over my own prep completely. Uh, in the off season, I trained back twice a week, a width day and a thickness day to try to bring up my back. And I did also a split leg day where I would hit quads and I would hit hams to focus on my weak points. I have done that probably about for a year and a half, almost two years now. Um, I think it's brought me, brought me great results. Um, I still need to work on a few other aspects. I like underhand grip rows and underhand grip pull downs and such things to work on, you know, the width and the lower lats because I still feel like that's lagging. I've also had some suggestions on bringing up upper chest, which is what I'm going to try to work on this next off season. Um, as far as prep goes, I really stayed true to the things that I had brought me success before with only changing a few minor things such as refeed days where I would take really high calorie cheat days to refuel my body and I planned those days around my weak points so that I could train really intense and really hard on legs and back when I was full of energy and full of glycogen and the nutrients that I needed. I focused on those things and also my posing quite a bit because that was also a very big lagging point for me. And it's a very hard thing to accomplish or should I say perfect. Everybody's style is different. So posing is varies from person to person, which is still not perfect and I will continue to work on this next season.
As far as my future in the IFBB, I would really like to start out as a 212, although I do not have any plans as of yet where I will debut or when I will debut. I believe that that's where a good starting point will be for me. Um, I financially will have to take a little time to gain a little strength and momentum to build myself up and be able to enter some shows and do some things. Um, but I am planning on competing within the next year or two as a pro. Um, I'm pretty much busy for the rest of the year. I've got a son due in August, in the August, which I'm very excited about. And uh, my family has sacrificed quite a bit to get me here. I've been unsponsored practically throughout my career. I've only had small nutrition stores and a small clothing line to help me, which I'd like to give a big thanks to Muscle Club Apparel and Planet Nutrition for all their sponsorships and the things they've helped me with. Um, I'd also like to thank my family and my wife. They've been... Uh, a key element to my success.